Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I know a lot of you enjoy watching the TTGO T-Watch videos on my channel. Thank you very much for all of your comments and interaction. A friend of the channel, Salam, sent me an email saying, hey, check it out. I've modified the LilyGo GUI watch example to make it functional. Now, this was the face I fell in love with when I first saw it here on Banggood, and I bought this watch right away. But I was a little surprised when I loaded this LilyGo GUI example, and it didn't do anything. It's just a static display. So here, look for the link down below to this GitHub repository. And Salam has developed this sketch that makes the LilyGo GUI functional. I added this set brightness 128 to dim it a little bit. I commented out these stop LVGL tick lines here because he's doing it to save power, but I found after a while I couldn't wake the watch up. You'll have to play with this program to see how it works for you. But let's take a look at the rest of the code here. And in void loop, it's basically just checking for touch. You actually turn the display on and off by touching it. Let's check it out. All right, thanks again, Salam, for the wonderful development and thanks for sharing. Let's check out the next applications for the TT Go T Watch 2020 that you might find of interest. I don't actually know how I stumbled across this TWatchBuilder.com, but it has a store with all these different apps for the TT Go T Watch 2020. It even has a microphone example for the T Watch 2020 version 3 here. Now you can add these apps to your apps selection just by clicking on the plus sign. Here I'm adding chess to my collection. But let's figure out how to make this all work. You do have to sign in. I signed in with my Google account. Yeah, so you see all of the applications I've added to my apps here. Well, let's get started. Of course you want the Silicon Labs driver installed and you want to check what serial port you're connected to. Here my TTGO T-Watch is on COM17. Now we're going to download the firmware updater. So I'm just going to open this zip file and copy all of the contents of this zip out to a folder. You want to edit the uploader bat with the COM port that's connected to your TTGO T-Watch. And then you run the uploader bat. So let's do that. I'm going to edit it. This is interesting. I get a warning from Windows. All right, so that was COM17. Now let's save that. And now we're going to run that to upload the firmware to our TTGO T-Watch. Here we go. So now this puts a settings application on our watch and we connect to the Wi-Fi. Then you have to select the Wi-Fi that you've authenticated to and set it as the Wi-Fi of choice. We're doing that right here. And then we can run update. Now, since I've already connected my watch to this portal, when I run update, you're going to see that it installs my background and one of the watch faces that I actually had already compiled. You can press the crown to exit an application. So I can exit the watch face by pressing the crown, or I can exit setup by pressing the crown. You can also double tap the screen sometimes and exit out of the application too. So this is the watch face that I selected last night. Now in here, this is the information section. This has essentially, I guess it's like the Mac address of your TTGO T-Watch that you need to enter into the settings section here on the T-Watch Builder. This creates a relationship between twatchbuilder.com and your TTGO T-Watch, and you hit save. You see here, I saved the Shotoku Tech logo as the background for my watch. I set the text to white, and I set the time zone offset and daylight savings times offset, 
And you also see here that you can switch the various aspects of the T-Watch off and on. Of course, if you're using a notifier or you want to count steps, you're going to want to make sure you have Bluetooth or the motion sensor enabled. You could build all of these applications into a single watch if you want. I think it might overflow <laughs> my poor little TTGO T-Watch though. So, now let's compile another watch face and load it onto the T-Watch. So I'm going to compile this Urban Steel watch face here. Yeah, that's going to be the icon for the watch. So if you're developing your own app, you could load your own icon. And this is interesting here on the code tab. You can actually modify the code of an existing application or you can create your own app. We haven't made any changes. Let's go ahead and compile this. This essentially adds it to the image that gets uploaded to your TT Go watch when you run update. There, it's done compiling. I'm going to save the changes. So now that's part of the image that I'm going to put on the watch the next time I run update. Now you see here when I try to run update again, I get this Wi-Fi error and I've encountered this several times. This is a tinkerer's watch. So if you can find a better way to do this, then go ahead. But I'm just going to reinstall the firmware, connect to Wi-Fi and run update. And here you see I just get that one watch face because that's the only one I compiled for this image. If you do the build all here on the My Apps page, all of the apps will be part of that image that you get when you do the update. Let's check out this other watch face. That's very nice. So you can have a lot of fun with this T-Watch Builder at twatchbuilder.com. Oh, and did I mention it also has this companion application for notifications via Bluetooth from your phone. Here's the forums where you could post questions or comments. And make sure to keep watching Shotoku Tech for more TTGO T-Watch 2020 news. And thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.